Hello everyone and welcome back to Clan Generator, where Savannah Clan is starting to get back on its feet again after Quailstar dying. But you can see her here in Star Clan. She is wondering about two legs, which is interesting. Also, on another note, Chaffinch Bright is healing down, and Leopard Eye had a serious fight with Chaffinch Bright. Also, you can see a couple things are different. I have this paw thing now. Uh, I was looking in settings to make sure that the settings were right for uh, Savannah Clan, and uh, yeah, I found the paw print, and I was like, sure, why not? But it's a little bit difficult to use, so I may not use that in the future. <laughs> It'll be at least for this episode, however. And since uh, the last Clan Gen episode on this channel was me updating a really old version to this newer version, I decided to go ahead and pop a Savannah Clan into the new version as well and see what happens. And so far, things have been alright, except never ever press history in this version of the game because it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, anyway, Feather Star became leader after Quail Star died. And um, and she chose Tumbleheart as deputy despite the hate between them because of their history. And Weed Ears has become the new medicine cat and gotten quite used to the role after Leopard Eye died in the fire. Town Horse has become the clan's mediator. Downy Branch feels a sense of dread and uh, didn't really care when her children were killed. And uh, Barst Stream is the newest addition to the clan. He was a loner who's actually a survivor of a tragedy and he came in with little Wisteria Kit who's playing hide and seek too well. <laughs> wow. So that's where the clan is right now. Also, we go into cats outside the clan. Pantherfur is still around and I'm hoping that by updating to a newer version we finally give our boy the chance to come home, which would definitely be make things interesting. So without further ado, let's go on patrol. And from now on, who we send on patrol will take on extra significance because those sent on patrol will be at greater risk of dying in a fire. It used to be that fires could just affect anyone in the clan and I just rolled for every cat in the clan every time. But that doesn't really make much sense when your camp is literally underground and all the br brush that used to help the fires get into camp is now cleared out from the last fire. So as long as the cats decide to clear out all the brush from the camp entrance, there will only be a 1 out of 10 chance that the fire will get into camp. Otherwise, there will be a 1 out of 5 chance. If they clear the camp entrance of brambles and brush and bushes though, there's a bigger chance of predators getting into camp and we will roll for a predator event instead, which usually would only take out one or two cats. Fires can still happen, however, and they will happen to those who went out on patrol, which is why I can only roll for the fires and whether it's in camp or out of camp after I send cats on patrol so I can't game the system. Also, from now on, the chance of there being a fire will only go up by one every turn instead of two. That way, uh, I also give this small struggling clan another bit of a break. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and see who can go on patrol. Looks like currently only the medicine cat and two others can go on patrol, so that's go who's going to go. Me misclicking. So the patrol successfully collected Juniper. Oops, uh, just time skipped two moons. Well, uh, yeah, I definitely am not used to this cat paw. Okay, let's try and figure out what happened in those two moons. We're gonna first check the relationship events. Tumbleheart thinks they can tell Featherstar something important. Well, that's really good. They're learning to work together as leader and deputy. Featherstar is chatting with Downy Branch. Talonhorse bickered about something trivial with Featherstar. Oh man, I imagine Talonhorse probably 
is trying to boss her around. I mean, after all, she was a deputy at some point, and she could have been leader. <laughs> Weed ears had Talonhorse surprised them with something nice. Oh, that's cute. Downy Branch caught Featherstar complaining about them. Well, you, yeah, uh, that's what you get when you don't care if your kids are dead and you annoy everybody. <laughs> Brindleheart appreciates Featherstar telling them they had a feather stuck to their face. <laughs> wow. Marsh Dream is surprised to hear Brindleheart express an ideal they can agree with. And Wisteria Kit caught Tumbleheart complaining about them behind their back. Featherstar challenged Weed Ears to spar with them, and Weed Ears saw Wisteria Kit being considerate. Good, good. Mainly positive. Just a, one little negative thing. Let's check in on our cats. Featherstar is lettering their jet beauty call the shots recently and is proud of their initiative. Well, that's great. I'm going to check the relationships just <laughs> It's pure hate. <laughs> They're getting along as a leader and deputy, but they still have so much hate. Tumbleheart is wondering if they would be a good swimmer. Is that because Featherstar is going to throw you into a lake? Uh, Weed Ears has the foul taste of bitter herbs in their mouth. Town Horse had a nightmare involving the rushing river. Interesting, because Tumbleheart's wondering if she would be a good swimmer. Downy Branch is helping to reinforce the nursery wall with brambles. Are you trying to burn alive the other kid? Okay, I mean, that's, I guess, a good thing. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Marsh Stream thinks they're going crazy. I don't blame you. Brindleheart is a pod of the claimate blatantly lying? What? Who? Interesting. Who does he think is lying? He's got a little bit of dislike for Featherstar and for Tumbleheart and for Downy Branch. It's really not possible to tell just from that. And Wisteria Kit is looking around camp. Well, that's interesting. Let's check on... Oh, no, probably not gonna do that. Uh, let's check on... Panther fur here. Oh, I thought they spotted Leopard Eye wandering around earlier. Poor boy, he doesn't even know she's dead. It's so sad. Checking in on Star Clan Chaffinch Bright can feel somebody forgetting them. That's sad. But uh preventating is on, so nothing to fear here. Oh Carla Kit's hoping to give a life to a new leader. Well I hope not soon. I believe Pod Kit did last time for Feather Star. She's probably jealous. Or he, sorry. He's probably jealous of Podkit. Why can I never get these guys gendered right? Well, we have quite the list of able cats. This is great to see. <laughs> like, it's been a while since we had this many that were able to go out on patrol. Um, all these three are trainees. Technically, a lot of our cats are. <laughs> I like all of them. They're all the same experience level. <laughs> okay. Uh, we will send out Marsh Stream and Downy Branch with Feather Star. And we will send out well let's let's do this patrol first. Uh, we'll just do a random type. As Featherstar is checking the border lines, they notice that a Nacri clan scent has strayed into their territory. Uh, let's not. <laughs> yeah, we're cowards, so we can afford to do that. Plus, we're so small, we cannot afford to get into a fight. Okay, let's go back. I swear, one of these days they're just gonna come up to us and just wreck us. They like just. They're just gonna march right up, up to our camp and just absolutely <laughs> wreck us. Um, yeah, we can proceed with this. Aw. Their work is affected because Weed Ears is distracted. Huh, interesting. There's a little bit of romantic leg for Brindleheart. Is that new? Or was that bef from before when we tried to match make them with Talon Horse? Not sure. Also, she doesn't. She dislikes Talon Horse a little bit and Tumbleheart. But other than that, 
I can't see anything in her relationships that would be causing this. Maybe Brindlehard thinks Weed Ears is lying. Hmm, we'll have to see. We just barely squeaked by. We have a 68 on the fire counter right now. And you have to roll higher than that number to get a fire. That's just the way I set it up. Okay. What's... Downy Branch gathered up the kids to tell them stories of the blind hunter who saved the clan and the thieving fox? What? <laughs> what in the world? Like, uh, I, I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> what is this? Downy Branch doesn't strike me as one that tells stories to kids, but I don't know, maybe she is warning her own kids. This is the first time she's really interacted with any kids since then. Maybe she just kind of decided, just her way of coping was acting like they never existed. I don't know. Interesting. Tumbleheart is giving Downy Branch a task, Brother Star is giving advice to the kid. Talon Horse is surprised by Tumbleheart being thoughtful. Hmm. Weedier said something that rubbed with Sturia Kit the wrong way. Downy Branch caught Brindleheart complaining about them behind their back. Maybe, yeah, maybe he was complaining about Downy Branch lying blatantly. Hmm. Brindleheart is surprised that Weedier's life isn't as easy as they thought it was. Hmm. Interesting. Marsh Stream apologized to Wisteria Kit, where Wisteria Kit is hiding under a bush <laughs> and can't stop giggling. Dumbleheart wishes they could get their pelt to shine like Marsh Streams. Ooh. Is that jealousy? Featherstar has noticed Kit Brindleheart isn't doing a lot of work, and Radier saw Wisteria Kit being considerate. Featherstar is feeling blessed. Tumbleheart's relaxing in camp. Radier's is feeling down. Interesting. Town horse is chattering at birds, Downy Branch is dreaming, daydreaming. Marsh Stream is excited, Brindlehart is sharpening their claws, and Wisteria Kit is wondering how Marsh Stream is doing. Well, he is your father, so <laughs> you have a right to wonder. Oh, look! There's a platonic love for Marsh Stream a lot now, and respect and comfort and trust. I wonder if. I wonder if that's just a result of relationship interactions, or if it's a result of the game now adding in that for loners who come into the clan together, especially parents and their kids. Anthrofer is making deals with rogues. I wonder what he's dealing with. Hmm. Time for patrols. Nope. Definitely not. No. <laughs> We're collecting some ragwort. Huh. Ragwort brings strength to cats who need it and uses aching joints. It tastes absolutely foul. <laughs> Weed ears pleased with their harvest, but really wishes they had a way to bring it back to camp that didn't need <laughs> carrying it in their mouth. A sentiment that the patrol helping them definitely shares at length, very descriptively. <laughs> wow. Marshstream is watching with pride as Wisteria Pa is named and given to Marshstream to apprentice under. They know that Marshstream was a good choice. <laughs> yes, I am a good choice for my child. <laughs> oh man, that is a little awkward, but uh, <laughs> I guess, I guess Featherstar's like, yeah, you raised this kid, you, this is your kid, here you go. <laughs> I guess, uh, I don't know if that's a good choice or not on Featherstar's part. As the herb stores are inspected, it's noticed that some of them went bad. A oh, horse tail has to be replaced. And we have the relationships. Oh, Tumbleheart wants to explore the whole territory with Featherstar. Man, after these two who broke up, I mean, they seem to be getting along. Featherstar is spreading a rumor about Talonhorse. Talonhorse is telling congratulations to Featherstar. Weed Ears goes to tell a secret to Brindleheart. Only for Brindleheart to tell someone else's secret to them. Ooh. Ooh, Brindleheart is a tattletale. Honestly, that kind of makes sense with his personality. Downy Branch has snuggled up against the Wisteria Kit. Brindleheart thinks Tumbleheart is very helpful. Marshroom. Oh, Wisteria Kit is now Wisteria Pa. So that doesn't. Yeah, all these are not making too much sense. But oh well. Oh, look, now it's changed to Pa <laughs> midstream. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah. 
<laughs> she fell into a creek. Well, maybe you should have had those swimming lessons like Tumbleheart was wondering about. She's talking to herself, and we do just feel like a tent. Ah, interesting. Tonov is negotiating with the kitty pet to make use of the herbs in their two leg garden. Cool, very cool. Can she? She still can't mediate if we want her to, but she is, even though she's injured or, let's see, a uh, broken bone. She has a broken bone, and she's still going and negotiating for the good of the clan. That is Talonhorse for you. Downy Branch is lazy. <laughs> the exact opposite. Marsh Stream is rethinking her life choices. Brindleheart's feeling a sense of dread. Wisteria Paw is craving the taste of rabbit. Oh, look at Wisteria Paw. He looks charming. He is so cute. And uh, he's got little stripes. Awesome. I feel like Featherstar would want to preside over Wisteria Paw's first training session. This is a training session. Go on, patrol. Huh. Okay, proceed. Everyone has a nice practice session, picking up a nice selection of new tricks to try out in their next skirmish. Wisteria Paw really gets into it and is praised for their focus and enthusiasm. Good. Good for him. Since we are running low on herbs, we're going to go on an herb gathering patrol, and we're not going to take Downy Bridge because she's feeling lazy, and everyone knows that she's not exactly the best worker. <laughs> As Weeders looks at the twitching tails and wide eyes of the patrol set up to help them gather catmint, their heart sinks. These overly excited warriors don't look like they're going to be useful. Ooh, well, we're going to proceed anyway. Ah, oh, man. The patrol is full of juvenile behavior and dumb jokes rather than focused effort. They even managed to successfully find a catmint plant, only to have their helpers roll around in it, bruising all the stems. <laughs> Tumbleheart and Prindleheart. Man. Ooh, I think maybe Weed Ears is furious about more than one thing. I think these two are really getting along. They're behaving like two kits, and I think that might mean that they have feelings for each other, and Weed Ears maybe feels left out or jealous. On we go to the next moon. Talonhorse's broken bone is healed so well you can't even tell it happened. Good job, weed ears. Oh, and all of the mallow has gone bad. Oopsies. Both Tumbleheart and Brindleheart are talking badly about weed ears. Ooh. Downy Branch thinks Tumbleheart was nice to them today. Brindleheart appreciates how Marshstream always seems to ask how they're doing. Marshroom had a difficult conversation with Wisteria Paw, and they now have a deeper understanding of each other. Aww, that is so cute. Father-son talk. Wisteria Paw says Featherstar... Oh, okay, Wisteria Paw is saving Featherstar a priest of fresh kill, and Featherstar noticed that Marshroom is falling behind in training and offered to help them catch them up. Ooh, interesting. Maybe in training Wisteria Paw, anyway. <laughs> Featherstar is in the medicine den. Oh. Oh, well, she has a permanent condition, so maybe she's getting some help for her chronic leg injury. Tumbleheart is purring gently. Interesting. Let's check her relationships real quick. Still not much more for Brindleheart, but I have a feeling something might be developing there. It might take a bit more time. I could try and rush it alone, but I think I'll wait a little bit more. Meteors want some shrew. Talonhorse is dismayed how quickly their clanmates get into arguments. Yeah, me too, me too. Speaking of arguments, let's mediate this. Yay! A little bit of hate is gone. <laughs> okay. Downy Branch is puffing their chest out. Typical Downy Branch. Marsh Stream woke up on the wrong side of the nest. Brindleheart's feeling sore, probably after his role in the uh, catman yesterday. <laughs> and Wisteria Pot is curious about the other clans. Well, one of them wants to kill us. The other one's pretty nice. And I'm not sure we've met any others. <laughs> Since Featherstar offered to help Marsh Dream with training Wisteria Paw, we're going to do this again. 
and we're gonna go on a training patrol. Ooh, proceed with the vision. Hmm. They talked to them about whether it was a real vision as they train. Interesting. I feel like, although Leaders does have to go get herbs, uh, she would just not go if these three are her <laughs> choices. She would be more likely to bring Downy Branch at this point, but I think she will wait a moon and request that Feather Star go with her next time. She's a little bit uh, upset about last time. Oh. Oh, well, uh. Oh, I already. I accidentally made Weeders go. Um, well, this is fine. Uh, I guess she decided to just break up Tumbleheart and, uh, Brindle's heart. Well, good. They're successful this time. Why do the herbs keep going bad? And also, why would we go out on patrol with the medicine cat? Do we not gather those herbs that have gone bad? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Tumbleheart's faced with a tough decision and wonders what Talonhorse would do. Interesting. Featherstar playfully teases Tumbleheart. Hmm. Is there still something there? Brindleheart makes sure Talonhorse is following the warrior code. That sounds like a Brindleheart thing to do. Although Talonhorse is an elder who's done more for this clan than Brindleheart could ever shake his tail at. Weed Ears reminds Featherstar to grab something from the fresh kill pile if they haven't already. Downy Branch had a huge argument with Talon Horse. Weird. But also it's Downy Branch, so what do you expect? Brindleheart chats with Mysteria Pa about their day. Marstream just noticed how beautiful Tumbleheart's eyes are? What? That's out of nowhere. Well, Tumbleheart's got multiple suitors. Wisteria Pa goes to tell a secret to Brindleheart only for Brindleheart to tell some analysis secret to them. Brindleheart really has a habit of doing that. Weeders comes up with a plan to sneak out of camp with Wisteria Paw. Interesting. Aww. Feather starts listening to stories about Curlew Kit, the kit that died in a fire soon after coming to camp, and has even so contributed to the clan through their efforts in Star Clan, where they have prophesied about a couple of things. Tumbleheart's listening to stories about Martin Drift. Well, I don't really have a story for Martin Drift. They just were, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> well, let's look at her relationships real quick. Nothing on Marshstream, although Marshstream's probably got something on her at this point. Alright, let's take a look here. Uh, is this Marshstream? No, this is Talon Horse. This is not Marshstream. Uh, this is Marshstream. <laughs> okay, just a tiny bit of romantic light. Nothing big. He's learning more about Chaffinch Bright. Bonnie Branch is feeling lazy. Again, Town Horse is exhausted from resolving petty arguments. Oof. Meteors is spending a considerable amount of time grooming. Well, Town Horse. Hmm. Maybe we should try this? Okay. I don't know. If Talon Horse is again gonna play matchmaker. At least it's better than resolving the arguments of Feather Star and Tumbleheart, which are never ending. And Wisteria Paw is heading to the dirt place. Me just uh, interrupting myself. Okay, let's go on patrols. Oh, it's raining on the herb gathering patrol. I put Wisteria Kit Paw on it because I felt like um, he should get some experience gathering herbs and doing stuff like that as an apprentice. And I didn't put Marstream on it uh, because I felt like Featherstar would want to oversee this and also Weed Ears would want Featherstar to come with her. So. Let's proceed. They agree to grit their teeth and bear it, but everyone is relieved to file into their nests to dry off. A random assortment of herbs refreshing the medicine cat and stalks. Poppy and Rosemary were gathered. I think Rosemary was one of the ones that has gone bad, so that's good. 
Meanwhile, we're going to have Tumble Heart. Uh, Mm, Downy Baron should go on patrol. Yeah, let's let's do this. <laughs> this is fine. Uh, the patrol finds a small burrow on the ground with a strange scent. Let's look at the picture real quick. Yeah, it doesn't tell me much. Uh, uh, loving, confident. I think I feel like Downy Branch would stick her head in here. Uh, oh. Oh, it's just a rabbit. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Me thinking it, it's gonna be like a, a dog or a badger or a fox. No, it's it's just a rabbit. Uh, hmm. Okay, well that's good. Oh dear. So after the patrols, I have rolled and... We're going to have another fire. It is going to work a little bit differently this time. There is a 1 out of 10 chance that it will be in the camp. Uh, we're going to say high number. Oh, that is close. Well, it only affects those out on patrol, but uh, that's pretty much everybody. Besides Marsh Stream and Talonhorse, that is everybody. So, we're going to have to hope that we get lucky here. Featherstar's... Wow, that's actually fitting. That's very fitting for this. Alright, maybe that was a warning from Curlew Kit. A prophecy. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Okay, we're gonna roll. Featherstar rolled a 7. She is in the clear. Tumbleheart also is fine. Weed Ears is just on the edge, but 5 through 8 for adult and young adult is fine. Downy Branch got caught in the flames, but she only rolled an injury. Marsh Stream is, of course, exempt. Brindleheart. Oh, man. I had a bad feeling. Two and one are the only numbers you can roll for a young adult where they die. Oh, dear. I'm also wondering, with all the hate swirling around Brindleheart, did somebody maybe push him into the fire? Who was he on patrol with? I think it was Featherstar Weed Ears and Wisteria Paw, so that would mean... Not Marsh Dream, Tumbleheart, Downy Branch, and Brindleheart were on patrol. Downy Branch was injured in the fire, so maybe it is just a coincidence. A very, very sad coincidence. Uh, why do I- Ah, uh, I thought making the rules a little, uh, less difficult would change things a lot, but, ah, uh, man. Or did Tumbleheart push Brindleheart into the flames and Downy Branch go after him? Or did Downy Branch have something to do with this? I don't know. I just don't know. I really can't tell. Is it an accident? Or is it not an accident? Brindleheart had been spreading a lot of ugly rumors. And I think some of them were about Downy Branch. And I wouldn't put it past her. In any case, I'm not gonna cheat the system. Brindleheart is dead. Ugh, that is painful. He is not coming back. And maybe, just maybe, in Starkland, he will give us some clues about what happened to him. Oop. Quailstar is thinking about their life. Chaffinch Bright is thinking about their life. Leopard is hoping to give a life to a new leader. I hope that doesn't mean she wants, uh, you know, uh, Featherstar to die. Kurlukit is exploring Star Clan and Podkit is relaxing in the sun. Interesting. No clues there. And finally, Wisteria Paw. 
They got a six, which for apprentices means that Wisteria Pot is actually lost. I'm not gonna exile Wisteria Pot because I'm not even sure if he can come back from that, even in this current version of the game. What I'm going to do is follow the rules for this, which state that you must roll each moon they are gone to see if they will come back, but also if they die or are lost forever. So that's another thing we'll have to remember to do. Well, this has been quite the roller coaster of an episode. Tensions are rising in the clan, and now Brindleheart is dead. And under some suspicious circumstances. After all, the rest of his patrol got out alive. So is one of them responsible? What exactly is going on here? I hope you enjoyed this episode, despite the bummer ending. <laughs> uh, if you did, like and subscribe to see more content like this, and I will see you all next time.